Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. I am here with Dan the Man. As you can see, his saffron is flying high. He even got a saffron intake manifold, boy. With that NA throttle and that 960 throttle body plate. Green injectors, fuel rail. This stuff is this stuff is getting ready, boy. This is the engine that's going in. He's gonna do the C70 subframe. And we're getting ready to mount angle gear on there to keep this all-wheel drive. And as you can see, the all-wheel drive transmission, M58, is going in this thing tomorrow. The engine is sparkling. Man, it's got that thing looking good. New timing gearing on there. This engine is the sought-after 2.4 liter T5 out of a 06 Oh, S60 T5 car so this thing can handle some power took the harness loose so we could drop the harness down with the engine and the ground wires for the harness are under the uh, front support thing so we drilled a hole right there about an inch so we could hit that ground wire right there under it uh, that's an access hole that the manufacturer forgot to put in there, so we got that taken care of. As you can see, we did not mess with those heater hoses in that firewall junction. Now's not the time. I mean, it's a good time if you got all that equipment, but if you try to unplug 22-year-old firewall junction hoses, you'll be replacing that firewall junction or doing something else. It ain't gonna let go. That's not gonna be pretty. So stuff inside the Couple car. things. If you're dealing those four bolt control arms, you wanna attach those control arms before you put the engine on the subframe, engine transmission. Another thing, if you're doing a uh, RN swap, you got a couple of these manifold bolt holes if you're going with your old 850 manifold that are not drilled and tapped you might want to get those drilled and tapped um, anything else we dealt with that was strange oh if you're going to use this box you got to put the lower alternator bolt in before you put this box on the engine that's an 05 box a lot of it you're kind of just 05 out box <laughs> now True. your uh, master clutch cylinder when you put that thing in make sure you route your um, hydraulic line up in the air because if it's down it's going to be too short it's got to go up and under the brake master cylinder what else we got oh we got these uh, cams got to be drilled out on the end a little bit if you're going with your old equipment you have to, the, since it's a 98 ME44, I've got to use the rear, uh, the, the uh, exhaust cam has to be opened up to allow the cam sensor, yeah. the old ME44 cam sensor to, to operate. Okay. If, you're, if you're swapping into a uh, ME7 car, that's not an issue. That, that sensor will work. Man, this freaking serpentine belt bracket is like right against this tent. Yeah, this I, cover. I think the top cover pushes it out a little bit though. I know this, yeah. like I'm saying here, this serpentine belt thing is touching that. Oh yeah, that, that happens yeah. with an RN. Yeah, I don't so know. You can either cut that out or you can just let it rub. Uh, I always let it rub. Okay. I remember having to... We discovered that we had the wrong timing belt cover on the front. This double VVT has an extra hump out here on this cover, the one we had fixed up for it. And that cover and the old style serpentine belt tensioner don't match. We are a half a hole away from getting that bolt in there, if that. 
we're going to take a little bit off of the tensioner and see how that fits. Couldn't get the cover on with that serpentine belt tensioner in place. And doing this conversion with this RN engine dual VVTs, this cover needed this type of modification so that you could put the cover on and then tighten up the tensioner. That tensioner from the end engine fits in that hole pretty tight and snug, fills that space in there. I don't think you got any problem with getting anything in there that'll matter. And then uh, the, nothing rubs when you put the cover on, tighten the tensioner on. However, whenever you go to do any timing stuff, you'll need to take those bolts loose like we have them here to get this cover in and out. Another interesting day in the day of these mods. This box is off of the P80s, 850s, P80s up to 98. As you can see, bolted to this engine, that thing looks like it's touching the engine to me. So, this little knob here, whatever this is for, will probably have to be shaved down so the hose can hook up to there. Now, I think the box is all the way back. I could be wrong. I don't know if there's space in there or not. The other box we had that came off the 05 was too big for the old style intake manifold to fit over it. So we had that issue. We ported out the intake manifold a little bit to match this engine. I mean, you don't have to, but that would create for better flow. You see there, that's been ground down a little bit. Got to be careful you don't get it too thin, but open that up so it matches here. We're going to pre-wire for COP, which is coil over plug. Cut a hole in the timing cover so we can run the fuel line over there. Another minor adjustment, that RN engine intake manifold intake gasket does not have the hole in the bottom right there so I checked the hole in the engine and it is threaded so I'm gonna go ahead and tap or drill a hole in that gasket so I can put a screw in there and secure that intake manifold on the bottom. Dan the man loosened the radiator support bolts down there by, by the way no longer has cast nuts so we put the bolts pointing down put nuts up from the bottom in case that thing uh, somehow comes loose we'll just see it from the bottom the nuts will be missing the bolts should still be there then he put the screws in here which pulled that thing in almost the entire way just sticking out a little bit so he also did a electrical fan mod that puts the fan inside the shroud and now you have a little bit of room to work with. The fan is not totally up against the idle control valve when we get that stuff in. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.